Hello guys and welcome back to Star Sector. Uh, last uh, I left you guys, we were deciding between these opportunities of bounties, this guy here, or even continuing to explore these planets here. Um, this guy is has 25 days remaining and um, I, I, it will take me in a straight uh, line 14 days to get there, so let's round up to I know, 18, 20 days. Uh, the problem is that he's in a giant primary star and this system has like one giant, uh, two giants, three giants and uh, that's just a lot of exploring to do. Plus uh, has a warning beacon, I don't want to get in any fights I don't want. So I'm not going for that one, plus it involves traveling this whole section of extremely thick uh, nebula. Uh, the other opportunities... Um, this is 29 days remaining at 29 days remaining at 20 days to get there so rounding up it will be extremely close um, this has a long time uh, 77 days remaining and this has another 87 days remaining so uh, I may take my time to go on this part of the map this is a way 54,000 credits, not that much, I'm not going to bother all that much about it. But uh, I'm going to start heading this way. And uh, given that uh, I'm probably going to miss this one, I'm not going to worry about uh, how many days I spend uh, traveling. So I'm actually going to head up here, uh, do all the surveys, actually put this one like four unsurveyed, so it's only four plans. I can actually see them, yeah, because I've been here before. Yeah, so I'll just go in, survey all of these, and then I'll head over to this one, survey everything there, and then travel the dreaded Elsbeth Nebula, and uh, check what these have to have to share with me. So that's it. Let's start playing some Star Sector. I'll try and jump just because I don't want to waste the time. I've seen that a bit earlier, maybe I would have... Um... Just engaged it. Well, it's quite a small system, and the small systems are fantastic uh, if you want to set up uh, colonies, because uh, you just... Well, not exactly small systems, but uh, systems with clustered planets are great, because you get to uh, put... Uh, they, if you have like defense fleets for each uh, planet, uh, if they're closer, they will engage Fle uh, enemy fleets coming for another planet, so you just have like a mass army. I'm not really looking at the plants all that much. Because when I will want to stop colonies, I will just go through the browser and uh, just see w which one is uh, has the lowest hazard rating and just do a whole process. Right now, I'm not bothering all that much about it. And also, technically, uh, we also have the um, red planet, right? That, oh, I did the red planet, didn't I? Yep, I did it. Uh, for some reason, I thought I didn't do that quest. the gas giant. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, 80? Sure. I also have to be very careful about clicking colonize. I don't want to accidentally colonize the planet. Right, that was it. Let's head out and let's do the other system. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this doesn't have anything, right? Uh, no... But I'm not... Uh... I don't see any other uh, wells here, gravity wells, so this may be just be an empty system. As expected, empty system. Hmm, you refill. Is the debris field in system, or is it just a debris field somewhere? Oh, it's somewhere. I'm not even gonna bothering bother to fight that one. Just head out. Okay, Elizabeth Nebula. Hey, this is a neutron star. This hurts, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> that little uh, bundle of light. It's probably radiated, right? Yeah, it radiated. No atmosphere, extreme cold, poor light. It's not a good system to set up uh, a colony. And of course, a very strong monetary field. Pulsar beam, it does what? Reduces the common readiness of all ships, content from a rapid pace, and blows the fleet off course. Holy crap! Oh my god, how much yard did I lose? Okay, so I guess we are waiting. <laughs> it's not exactly how I wanted to spend the time. Actually, no, there's a fringe jump point, so I can go out and come back to the fringe jump point. Basically teleporting in hyperspace. Actually, they've been smart because it was a neutron star. I should have checked and actually jumped through the fringe initially, so I don't don't get the face full of that uh, pulsar plasma beam thing. Can, you know the kind of stuff, rare stuff, like uh, orbital mining stuff, the, uh, mining stations that can end up being in the belt, or you know some of the rare stuff like derelicts, uh, debris fields, or uh, weapon caches I think even. Um, they have certain areas where they can spawn, generally it's either around the planet, uh, around one of these feature things, around the you know, jump points, in or out. Uh, around uh, I said planets big planets doesn't matter any kind of planets and I think maybe even stable locations maybe 
However, there is a uh, one final thing, uh, which this is also where fleets can spawn. Right now, if I'm mistaken, all bounties are spawned at planets, as far as I saw. Back in 0 0.8, you had uh, more vague destinations. I think those are still in. If I check the uh, bars for, you know, Tritachion scientists, which uh, go tell me to go look for some cores somewhere. But uh, the point is, you have like inner reaches, which is around the system. I also have something called the outer reaches of the system, which actually implies you searching this extended area, which generally you would never need to go and search for this. And in 0 0.8, if you had a, a mission that sent you to the, to the outer, reacher, outer reaches of a system, you just don't do it. Even with the special neutron de neutrino detector, it will still take you ages upon ages to do anything. Uh, to actually find it. Uh, I just want to put that out because a lot of the things, not I think a lot, but uh, a fair bit of the things that you end up here, you know, like location debris field or something like that, uh, can actually lead you into areas in a system that you know you went through and know everything in there, uh, areas in a system where you just don't check. So uh, I think even missions can spawn in this, that's what I'm mentioning. So even if you complete a, a whole system, uh, survey everything and have everything down, you can still get sent back here uh, to find some of the cool things. And if you have a mission, of course, uh, you'll just get sent there directly uh, with the location, assumingly. <laughs> you'll not have to actually uh, search for it. Oh, right, another neutron star. and. Thankfully, this time I at least uh, jumped in the periphery. I think this one moved faster. Such a pretty game. Like, if you actually stand in this area, you're safe. And like I mentioned, you know, it's a stable location, and there is uh, something here. It's spawned there, probably, I don't know, a relic or something. A derelict. Or a research station. Survey data for Binsutu. Okay, just a random planet that I got survey data for. Thank you. Probably from the system. Oh, 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 nice. The, this is great. This is actually fantastic because the Harbinger is very good. Uh, Nav Relay Mod Spec. This is great. Uh, this is the second thing that I wanted to put on, you know, the capital ship that I mentioned with uh, a lot of fleet boosts. Awesome. Uh, this is the last one that I didn't have, uh, integrated point defense AI, because I wanted to test some things and I didn't have it, so I had to go back in missions to test it. So I'm going to right click and learn this one and just get all the other free shit. And always scavenge a station for a lot more cool shit. Uh, longbow, these are not that great, but whatever. I already have these, if I'm not mistaken. And take all. Okay, and I got everything I needed from there and... Yeah, I'll have to do this one, but let's quickly go here and explore all of these. And 
and somehow this um, mechanic is more fun than actually exploring planets in, in the Mass Effect trilogy. Well, I said less fun, but at the very least it's less annoying. Hope that uh, that pulsar, polar, whatever beam has uh, passed this point, so we don't have to wait up for it again. Okay, awesome! Absolutely nothing interesting. Let's go sort on my stuff. Okay, so we have explored the Elizabeth Nebula. Let's see how we are doing on time with the bounties. Okay, of course, that one expired, and we just have this one and this one left. Okay, this is where in a super giant primary star, and this is in a giant primary star. And there we got this nebula. So, supergiant and giant, I got this. This is a binary, right? Binary system. A brown dwarf, blue giant. Uh, I got this was also this, right? Yeah, so red dwarf, black hole, uh, red supergiant. Okay, so uh, red supergiant, I think we found the one, this one, which is the harder one of the two. No, the easier one of the two, right? Right, yeah. Uh, super giant primary star, and this is in a giant primary star in the Regatus Nebula. Volcanic world. Uh, me already passing through here, uh, I have a bonus because I know I'm looking for actual, you know, uh, stuff. Um, it's binary star. I'm looking for actual uh, volcanic world because I have already been here and I know what, what there is here. I didn't go in the blue giant, and most probably it's in the blue giant. So it's in the uh, red super giant and the blue giant. I may want to engage this fleet first. It's pretty hard fleet. I'm not sure what the other ten ships are, but we're talking two capitals and three cruisers. Which, and again, the ten other ships maybe they say, they say less of significance, but I'm this sure I've seen it before. Where you know there's cap okay, not capitals maybe, but the cruisers. In definitely, I don't think these are all the cruisers in the fleet. But uh, we'll give it a shot. Uh, the the conquests that the AI has are by far not as good as uh, the conquests I made. Uh, they're worse off, and they are not all. in the grand AI piloted capital ships. These are the I guess the weakest of them. So this shouldn't be all that hard. But uh, I am worried about um, the cruisers and whatever else uh, bombers or supports they may have. So yeah, let's do... It's for the 43 days and 34 days. Yeah, let's do the easier one first. Yeah, let's do the easier one first. In the super giant. Alright, the least that blue giant is on my way and I don't have to pass through all this crud. Blark, fine, sure, whatever. <laughs> Let's do a traverse jump, just not to waste the time. Wow, this is a huge system. Oh 
yeah, inner jump point system actually has the picture of a, of a the icon of a planet, and I wonder why that is. It's one of the things that probably I've seen it since forever, but I never actually took account of it. But if you jump here, you're not jump on a planet. You only jump on a planet if you hit one of those three. If I'm not mistaken, you only have three planets, right? And one, two, three, four planets, right? So it's one, two, three, four planets. Okay, I'm confused. Doesn't matter. Uh, let me just jump into one of these for this one, and um, I'll work my way in from there. I hope this is from this, and this is not from this. Which was the same thing anyway. Okay, doesn't matter. Right, so I am looking for a... What the hell is this? You know... Super giant. No, the other one. The super giant. This one. Volcanic world. Irradiate volcanic, volcanic, volcanic. I have, oh, four volcanic worlds. And certainly he is not here. Two hundred and seventy-five. Holy shit! Extreme heat, extreme tectonic, toxic atmosphere, low gravity. Okay, let's head. I, know, I guess counterclockwise. Oh no, there's two volcanic worlds here. Okay, I'm gonna check these volcanic worlds, and if not, I'll head this to that one. These are all the four in the system. And let's be smart and actually save the game because this will potentially be a kind of a hard battle. Head downwards then? Well, it's, it's not exactly downwards, but southwards. I think in certain types of sci fi, you have like coreward or spinward. Anyway, down on the map. I'm slightly confused. Um, so, in the Epsilon Ergatis volcanic world, wait, Epsilon Ergatis. So what? It changed to Epsilon Ergatis. Now that I'm here. Oh right. So it is in Epsilon Ergatis, and there is one more volcanic world. I didn't check. What? There were five. Ugh. Whatever. I guess. Uh, let's head through these and explore if I'm still here. Each 80.
not nervous. <laughs> Why would I be nervous? Oh, that is it. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another ten ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's only seven other ships here instead of the ten. So that's the randomization of it and the uncertainty of vagueness of shown data. But wow, this is not that horrible to be honest. Uh, and do they have a <gasps> they have a monitor? Oh my god, they have a monitor! I want this monitor. I don't really care for the nav buoys, nor the comm relays, but honestly, might as well get the nav buoys. I'm putting a capture on this, so I can send the frigate out there and capture it this if it, if they go on this side. And an assault here to mass my forces here and not make them force themselves, because if I put them here, an assault here, and the enemy fleet just completely mushes through, they will put too much value on actually capturing the point instead of actually fighting. So uh, you have to be careful to when you put these assault orders in and the actual point is overrun. A bit of deployment issue there. And yeah, actually coming on this side. Actually, they haven't. They went down the middle-ish, I guess. Perfect for me to smash through them. Famous last words. Actually, I should probably not use my swallows, to be fair. I should probably save them for the other conquests. Let's do some tacticalizing. Let's uh, ignore that. Let's ignore that. Oh, this is the enemy of Sunder. I thought my Sunder would got another few lucky, unlucky hits again. Okay, let's use this as a strike target. Stages, sure. Yeah, I want to check whether my changes actually fucked up the. Uh, no, I don't think it did, right? These are MRM pods, that's mediums. Yeah, it might do because these are, I think these are randomly spawned, aren't they? No, Elite Variant. Oh, so just... Yeah, when it refitted, it refitted using the slots that I modified for the Conquest ship overall. Okay, I guess. That's one 
conquest. One single burst and it took down a harpoon with the changes from the skills 50% extra damage to missiles to missiles and fighters where's the other conquest oh there it is This is my bounty target. We call that a conquest? This is a conquest. My ship was just not firing. Anyways, that was that. They must split uh, that ex escape, that escape. Let's do Harry. Or should I just do Pursue? Okay, there we go. And I actually went to consider salvage, but uh, whatever. And level up. Thank you. Yeah, so now I'm pretty much... I have two more skill points. I can only put two more skill points and I can do a few things. I mentioned them earlier in, I think, the last episode. Um, I can either do two points in this, in specialization. This is like, literally, if I want to fly squalls forever, this will, do, this will do more squall damage. This will actually get me more squall for my squalls and generally, uh, get me, even if I want to switch to hammer barrages later on, uh, it's to get me a lot of uh, damage boost. As well as actually allowing my uh, squads and generally missiles to get through their PD better. Um, so this is a thing. I can put I can put just two points in here and be done. Um, I can do this. Uh, put level 1 here, which would get me uh, basically more ECM by default but uh, I know it's it is important but if I'm gonna get a ship then I'm gonna put an ECM package on it it's gonna increase that ship's ECM rate now the whole fleets and this basically add gives me one extra for each um, one well one four extra depending on the uh, ship type have in the fleet, but since I'm not going to be flying huge fleets, I, I'm not going to be flying 30 ship fleets actually deployed in combat, uh, for me to actually get that 1% more, uh, sorry, on those 30% uh, more, yeah, I don't know, um, I'm trying to 
do them in my mind. Probably what I'm gonna do is gonna wait till level 50, get the two character points, and just stockpile them until I actually am in a position to make a good decision. There's also uh, officers, which I can do. I'm not really sure I want 10 officers. I can reasonably do fine with 8. Even with what I have now, it's reasonably fine. If I'm gonna get another more, I'm probably gonna need another uh, carrier pilot, carrier uh, officer. But uh, I think I'm relatively fine. But no, I'm probably gonna just bank the character points and see later on. Probably gonna have one issue at one point to go like, okay, fuck this shit, I'm getting Mrs. Michelle spec 3. But that's for another day. For now, let's actually go through this debris field again. Let's survey this. And am I done here? Intel planets, current system, not fully surveyed, right? So the gas giant and this baron. Oh, okay, sure. Actually, let's check in Intel. Let's see how, ma how many more days I have for this. Uh, five days remaining. Holy shit! I wasted a lot of time in the time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fail that one. It's 3.4 days just to get here, and really, no. Okay, let's say this is okay. It's sure, this is at base burn. Which again, I'll probably be flying. It's gonna be sure three days. But this ends in five, and I'm for sure gonna spend more than two days. And it's just 54,000 credits. No, fuck it. What I didn't I survey? A gas giant. Oh, this one. Might as well. I have another thousand supplies uh, available anyway. But it does feel good to be in this stage in the game where I'm not worrying about credits all that much. Uh, besides the three million st uh, stockpiled credits I have, uh, generally I can you know fly around, do my stuff, and be confident that I won't uh, literally be bleeding cash. Actually, I think it might be smart, to be honest. Uh, if you find a system with like some stable points, if you put the relay in each system, right? I think that'd be smart because if you do that and you get the contact with your, you know, uh, sniffer system, comms sniffer system that you left at uh, in the core worlds, uh, you can actually keep doing bounties in the core systems and never actually return, uh, minus for you know supplies and stuff like that. Because you'll be going uh, bounty to bounty and getting updates in real time for the new bounties that come out. Because right now I can go back and see that there's like three extra bounties here, but I didn't know about them. And know about them. Should probably start car carrying some transport tonics and that kind of stuff. Ninja level low, awesome, not that important. Hey, this sun is big. Okay. So, what do we have here? Uh, Baron, 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 Gas, Rocky. Actually, how many do I have? I have 800 more. Right, I can fully finish doing this, I think. And... Oh, it's just sensor. I thought it was a comma ray. But there is one stable point here. 
Ooh, extensive ruins. A transmitter, aha, uh -huh, encrypted. Whatever, aha, uh -huh, has to be nearby. Okay. Oh, extensive, isn't it extensive? Oh no, widespread means I get two chances. Extensive probably just means uh, a higher ex quality one. Construct the makeshift calm sensor. Calm, right? Oh, and I have just enough. Wow, and there we go. And as I predicted, bounties, and I have two extra bounties here to explore. Uh, 45 days, which is not that hard, and this. And 20 other ships, wow. Well, uh, Right, let's keep this in the back of my mind, they're not all that far, and they're relatively 45 days, 87 days, not that far, I can get to them relatively easily. Let's head on to Grigri and see what it has in store for us. Actually, uh, there should have been... I should have done a, a scan there. Sensor sweep. Do you want a nebula class? No. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. Uh... Four ventures, six ventures, that's a lot of fucking ventures. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's a lot of fighters. Okay, it's generally talons, broadswords, and mining auxiliaries, but still. And a fair bit of frigates. Oh, let me guess, in the last battle when I saw a monitor and destroyed that monitor, I didn't uh, go salvage ships to see if the monitor actually dropped as a salvage ship, didn't I? Oh my god. <sighs> I wish I could play better. Right, so, am I gonna engage this? Yes, no, maybe. Mm. Given that I've set down my fleet limits, uh, my battle size limits, uh, it's I will, I'll probably have to face less of them at a time, so they will probably be a bit less scary. I mean, I will not be fighting all the ventures and all the... Mm, what are they? Wolverines, right? The converted glasses. So... Uh, man, that's just a lot of ships, holy crap. I think I could exp if I got the emergency burn and just go full back, maybe? They are relatively demodded, but not that horribly demodded. I mean, really, really, really now I have one, two, three, four destroyers and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cruisers. Oh, this is a bad matchup. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously considering when to do this, but this is just... I have no problem with, signif with sm significant ships, you know, like, um, I know, a Paragon. If this had, like, a Paragon and a regular fleet, I'd be fine. 
but a lot of ships you can get overwhelmed and that's the problem it doesn't matter how weak the ships are it will be just another hall you have to go through if nothing else okay it's a pirate armada and oh thankfully it's not all that officer minus the wolf Attention, prey! You and all your positions are now my personal property. Any existing ship will be disabled, boarded, and your officers massacred. And your crew sold as slaves. That's a cheery guy. This is a horrible mistake, but thankfully I saved and hopefully I'll be able to escape this in a reload. Oh, yeah, well, the limits apply now. I don't know if I want to take the Apogee. The Apogee is relatively slow and it relatively has to... It doesn't do enough damage-wise. I keep it more for the high-resolution uh, sensors. Which I have now modded and I can use on other ships, just saying. So I may be able to drop the Apogee when I get home. But... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the Apogee, I'm gonna take another of this, and that will be as much as I can throw in this battle. My main issue is not is getting overrun, and I need the pirates of obligatory, I need these, because uh, these are my main anti-fighter ships, and if there's any situation I will need a lot of them, it will be here. I think I'm actually gonna drop the Sunder. The Sunder occupies a lot of slots and is relatively squishy compared for compared to what I actually need here. So let's do that. Oh my god, no I need Yeah, get two hammerheads. And it's annoying because you know I have my officers in these and it's a shame to leave them back. No, okay, let's deploy this. Let's just deploy this. And if I do lose something, I can uh, call reinforcements later on. Oh my god, this will be a horrible bloodbath. Uh, thankfully, the sense of jammers are here, close. And I'll do my. I'll capture this on my own. And I'll do an assault on this. I'll ignore the calm relays. Actually, it's a good thing that I'm uh, delaying the sender. <laughs> Okay, uh, thankfully I s this, I'm good with this, I have enough uh, ships here to 
uh, contest this and keep those guys busy. And I'm here on the flank, actually, with a bit of the weaker ships, and I can go right through them. Disable, 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 disable. Okay, and this is the main bulwark of the fleet. Also, I will have to actually re-engage uh, what they couldn't deploy here because this is not the entire fleet. Uh, given that I've lowered the fleet size, they, I'm pretty sure they can only deploy like a, a section of their fleet and I mean keep the rest of the ventures, they got like one, two, two ventures, right? So I'm pretty sure he has another six ready to deploy, so I'll probably have to defeat in low combat rating, defeat uh, this fleet and the next fleet and the next you know, fleet that gets uh, reinforced. We lost, but it doesn't matter because I think we're pretty good on that. On ECM, uh, you guys, you guys, I need you guys in the battle. Oh my god, just nuke that mudskipper, please, and ignore it. Uh, and I'm gonna need a strike on that. Using a side strafing here just to get a bit of distance. These are my fighters coming in, and yeah, could have been better. I hoped I had the shield higher by the time they came here. They will be coming here. Let's take that out. Carriers first. Okay, what the hell is going on? Because I cannot understand anything that's going on on my screen. Uh, okay, right. through them and actually I should use my squalls by this point I've saved them but I don't need them okay dual power activated I 
imagine how much I love this ship. reasons I try to keep this ship very flux efficient because this needs to be a thing that happens. I guess that was the entire enemy fleet. Held in reserve, disabled or destroyed, and... Oh, the Sunder again? <sighs> yeah, no, I have to do something with that design because it's a bit... It's great, and I think... You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep the Sunder as my own personal chase vehicle. And I'm gonna remove the what happened. I'm gonna remove this from my fleet, the enforcer, and keep the uh, Sunder as the chase vehicle, and remove this guy from this, and probably get uh, probably get another cruiser. I'll see. Do something. So who's left? Retreated. Tung tung tung. Okay, let's do a pursuit. Yeah, totes. Transfer, move us over to the Sunder, which, yeah, I cannot move myself over to the Sunder. <laughs> yes, give me my Sunder back, I don't care about any other ship here. Give me all their junk. Right, and I was panicked about that battle. Psh. Right, so I just have two more plants in the system. I'll uh, finish surveying them. Actually, let's do a save game because that would be smart. And uh, after that, I think I'm probably gonna call it to a close. We're reaching on another hour here. We actually have we actually had some pretty uh, long episodes uh, lately. Uh, so that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing next time, but uh, I'm not gonna go the whole intel hunting now. Probably some more bounties or something. And uh, I'll catch you next time in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.